Okay, here is the culprit. <laughs> These pants have shrunk. Okay, maybe the pants didn't shrink. <laughs> but, sometime uh, during between Thanksgiving and Christmas, all my pants seem to have shrunk. That's probably not exactly what happened, but I need to remedy that. The solution that is a turnbuckle. I should have measured it, but it's probably a six inch, uh, six, six inch, six inch from here to here turnbuckle. And uh, that and a couple of pieces of wood. And uh, I'm going to make something that I saw for sale on Amazon. So we're going to give you a demonstration of uh, how to build one of these pants stretchers. This will work on uh, blue jeans. Obviously, this is uh, some Wrangler cargo pants, but um, no reason it won't. Okay, what I've done is get a couple, couple of two-by-fours, and I've marked off a spot to the center. I'm using a turnbuckle, this particular turnbuckle, so I marked off the widest point on that on the center of the two before the widest point of this uh, eye this circle here okay and I'm gonna drill that out to where that fits that eye fits in there about like that okay and what I did also was I could have taken a um, jigsaw and rounded that off but instead I uh, you know I was in a hurry I just and I didn't, I didn't mark it, I mean, uh, measure it and all that. I just, I cut off uh, that, cut that off. Um, so, anyway, it's, it's semi-rounded, and that's what we're looking for here. Something semi-rounded. So, I'm going to drill this out and uh, to receive that right there. Okay. I'm going to start drilling at an angle because, again, this is going to be a circle. You're going to have that eyelid in there, and I'm in the center of the board, the two before. I'm go down about, about a half, maybe not quite an inch. Same way with the other side, angle it a little bit. I am eyeballing this, no measurements, I mean this is, doesn't have to be perfect, I'm trying to make it functional. And this one by no means is going to come out perfect. But you see I'm just basically chewing it out. Okay, as you can see, uh, that hole turned out pretty good. That one I kind of boogered up a little bit, but it's not going to be a big deal. This is going to go down in there. So I'm going to pound that down in there with a hammer. Not too deep. You know, it's not going to go down there too far. You just want this to be able to turn while this is stationary. Okay? You want this to turn, this stationary. So let me... Uh, Tap that down in there and I'll get back. Okay, that's what you want. Or what I think I want. This is my first one. Have this in here. That embedded in there. Pound them in a little bit. And um, see how they work. Okay, the jeans are in the stretcher. You've just got it on the waistband. Now what you want to do is wet your waistband. Uh, you don't have to wet the whole pants, but wet your waistband. And crank these out and it stretches your pants. Now, be careful of your button. Make sure you got a good button. These are uh, Wrangler cargo pants and they've got a nice uh, brass button. But uh, that'll get you maybe half inch, inch. Uh, we'll see, I'll let you know. I'm gonna, I hadn't wet these down, I'm gonna wet them down and then crank them down just a little bit. Uh, you could put a pin in here to hold that, make sure you don't pull your button loose. A pin, a um, pair of ice grips on it, just holding your two pieces of material together. And um, that will uh, keep it from, from tearing that button. 
and I'll probably go back and do that. But anyway, get these wet down, stretched out. I'll let you know if it works. All right, here is the uh, finished product. I went ahead and put a pair of vice grips just to clamp this down uh, right here so the, uh, so the button won't pop, won't pull that button loose. And uh, hopefully that will make the difference there. You could put a pin in it maybe, but I stretched, uh, I stretched these pretty, pretty dang good. Uh, as you can see by the turnbuckle, I have a little room to go. Now, I got this idea off of uh, Amazon. There is uh, a guy that sells something. It looks very similar to this. He uses a, I don't think he uses a turnbuckle per se, but a, a something a lot along this line with a threaded rod and wood blocks and um, I'm going to put a link to it below instead of making your own you may want to buy this it's like 17 bucks 17 18 bucks probably worth doing in fact if this works real well and and um, and I want something a little quicker uh, to hook up then uh, I, I don't know I may I may buy that one because it, it's a great reviews quality product made in the USA so I'll put a link to it uh, below the video. And uh, anyway, this uh, this is a pant stretcher, and I'll let you know. I'll show it to you tomorrow, or I'll uh, do a film tomorrow, do a vid tomorrow to just uh, after it stretches out to see how comfy they are. All right. Okay. The results. You wouldn't believe these are 36s. They were very tight. I could button it but very tight. I'm not going to show you my waistline. It is not a pretty sight. None of your business. But uh, these pants were very tight. I need a belt now to keep them up. I mean, it's, it is a dramatic difference. I'm not saying they're 38s now, and I have no way of measuring. I don't know how to measure across here to, to see what they are, but I would say they're around 38. The problem with a, having a 36 inch waist is, well, you've got a 36 inch waist and should be a 32 or 34. But anyway, that's that's a whole nother subject. The problem is they don't, most places, most people, most manufacturers don't make a 37, so you gotta go to 38, which I refuse to do. So, I gotta make my 36 pants fit, and uh, this absolutely worked. I am very impressed. Uh, these go on, they zip up, they button. I could even tuck a six shooter between me and my britches. Um, it's, it is absolutely worth trying. So again, I may go ahead and buy uh, the one on Amazon. I will link it below. If you're not comfortable with making your own, then um, certainly the one uh, from Amazon may be what you want to do. But this right here absolutely worked. Wet, wet it down, wet just the waistband. You don't have to wear the, wet the whole pants down. Wet the waistband down. I left it on overnight. Uh, some of the reviews on Amazon, on the one on Amazon, says just a, a couple of hours, a few hours. So, you know, to each his own. But uh, I just left it on overnight, and oh my gosh, at the difference. I am free. <laughs> I thought you might want to see it. You may want to make one of your own in case your pants also shrunk during the holidays. <laughs> All right, TP2, we're gone. We're gone and going to put on some comfortable britches.